All right, so the final day of the draft is in the books. Uh, the Detroit Lions have completed the 2020 NFL Draft, and uh, I thought they did a very good job this year. I thought this might be Bob Quinn's best draft ever as our GM. Um, today, or yeah, I guess today in the final day of the draft, we got Logan Stenberg, guard out of Kentucky. We got Quintez Cephas, wide receiver out of uh, Wisconsin. We got, we got Jason Huntley, running back out of New Mexico. We got John Penicini, uh, defensive tackle out of Utah. And we got Jay Sean Cornell, defensive lineman out of Ohio State. Uh, as I did earlier, I'm going to kind of just go down the line in the order that they were picked and kind of, you know, give some information, give my opinion, all that. Um, so Logan Stenberg is a 6'6", 317-pound guard uh, out of Kentucky. Uh, he's a mauler. He has a high motor. He just destroys people in the run game. He's nasty, you know, something Bob Quinn really likes. Um, but he does have some technique issues he's not he doesn't have great use of the hands he's kind of the opposite of uh, the guard of out of ohio state that we took yesterday um he doesn't have great hand use he's not technically sound but he just is a mauler he's like a high motor uh, he's gonna work hard um he also you know draws a lot of penalties because of his lack of technique and uh but i think that's something the lions can can work out it's easier to teach technique than it is to teach strength and tenacity so uh, i think they'll be all right there um, our next pick at 166 was Quintez Cephas. Um, I had him going in our mock draft uh, in the fifth round. Um, so I kind of already went over this, but I'll go over it again. Uh, Quintez Cephas is a 6'1", 202-pound running back out of Wisconsin. He's a powerful slot receiver. Um, he runs great after the catch. He has great power. Uh, he didn't run a great 40. He ran pretty slow. You never want to see that out of your wide receivers. Um, but there's several players in the NFL, like Jarvis Landry, who didn't run a great 40, who are still very good players in the NFL, and I, I think that Quintus Steve is going to come in, have good production from day one, and I think he could be a good replacement for Danny Amendola when his contract cuts up next season, uh, if the Lions choose not to resign him, and I think that he can give consistent production, very good production uh, for the Lions for a very long time. Um, another thing about Quintus Cephas, I kind of went over this in my mock draft, I'll play the clip after I'm done talking about him. Uh, but Jeff Okuda said that he was the toughest player to play against. Um, so, yep, here it is. I'll give you an interesting name. Uh, Quintez Cephas from Wisconsin. I think he's the best receiver I, I went against. It um, uh, doesn't matter what his 40 time was. I think that he's a football is played in between the lines. And he's a technician, someone that I changed my plan up for every single week. I think he might have been the only receiver to have 100 yards against us. And uh, we knew that going against him, uh, we have to earn our keep. All right. So the next player that we got was Jason Huntley, uh, running back out of New Mexico. He's a very fast, very speedy running back. Uh, he ran a four three. He ran a four three seven forty yard dash. He's just all speed. Some of his highlights are just crazy. He the run the linebacker will have an angle and he'll just beat him to the edge. Um, and I know what you're thinking. Why would we take a running back again if we just took DeAndre Swift in the second round? Well. He is not going to play running back for us. I think he's going to be a very good returner. Uh, in college, he was a returner for New Mexico State, and he had several long returns and a lot of touchdowns for them. Uh, I know it's the Mountain West, but, I mean, speed is speed, and he, he's a great returner. I think he's going to compete with Jamal Agnew uh, for that returning role, and I think he's going to compete with Ty Johnson for that speed back role um, on the Detroit Lions next season. With our 197th pick... We got John Penicini, defensive tackle out of Utah. Um, I'm pretty sure that he went to the Senior Bowl with Matt Patricia, worked with him for a little while, so that's probably part of the reason that that they picked him here. He's a big uh, D tackle at 6'1", 308 pounds. He's a run stopper. You could just put him in the middle. He's going to stop everything up the middle. He's not going to let you through. He's a mauler. He's got high motor. Um, yeah, last year he had six sacks, uh, but he's more of a run stopper than a pass rusher. Uh, and I think the Lions late in the draft just wanted to add depth at the defensive line since we lost so many players uh, in the offseason. We lost Snacks, we lost Sean Robinson. Uh, so I think they're just trying to replace that. And then with that said, with our final pick in the draft at 235, they picked Sean Cornell, a defensive lineman out of Ohio State. Um, I believe when Jay Sean was coming out of high school, he was like the number one player in his school or his state or something like that. Um, and he got to Ohio State and just kind of got buried on the depth chart. Um, but he did finally get a chance to play his senior season. Uh, he came up with four sacks. Uh, more, 
as I said earlier, the Lions are just trying to get more defensive line depth. Um, he has a very high motor. He works very hard. He chases the quarterback relentlessly. Um, I think he could be a good pick. I think he might, um, I know seven round picks don't always make the team, but I think he has a pretty good chance of doing that. And, um, just, I think this was a very, I think this was a good pick late in the draft. Not many players left. Um, so I think the Lions took the best player available or one of them. Um, so that's kind of what I thought about our drafts today. Um, overall, I thought it was a very good draft. As I said in the beginning, probably one of Bob Quinn's best since he's been here with the Lions. Um, I'll do a video tomorrow talking about my grades for each and every pick, and then I'll probably do a grade for the overall draft. Um, so stay tuned for that. And then one more thing I want to talk about is maybe some players that are positions that we could target in free agency now that the draft is over. Uh, I think we could target quarterback. I think Bob Quinn always likes to get a young quarterback in from each draft class. He didn't this year. I don't think one fell that he was particularly interested in. Um, but the last couple of years, he's taken a quarterback in the late round um, and given him a shot just to see if he's the next Tom Brady or, you know, who knows. So I think we could be looking for quarterback. Uh, I think safety could be an interesting one to look at. Um, that could be some good depth for us. And then... Um, I think that's it. I think we filled out our needs pretty well. I think that, you know, all these rookies are very good. I think this was a good draft. Um, and I'll get back to you guys if there's any more Lions news. See you tomorrow.